People pages. People.seattlecolleges.edu is a tool that's managed by our Seattle Colleges web team. When you go to that web address, you can type in any employee name. I'm going to type in just my first name and you can search for that person. This is helpful because when you're not sure of the person's last name or their spelling, this can help you. I'm going to now type in my whole name. Once you find that person's name, you'll find that their name is hot, meaning it's linked, and you'll find the title, department, and campus that's officially listed in Outlook. If that information is incorrect for you, please go to our IT's help form at sd.seattlecolleges.edu and fill out their form and they can help you with that information. Going back to your page, let's click on the name and you'll find here, there's my image, here's a personal statement that I've placed here, and there are also courses in which I am teaching. Down below, I can even create a web page, they call it a blog. And on that, you can provide information that you want the public to find. In this case, I wanted the public to be able to find and learn about the things that I'm helping people with for fall quarter. Now, how do you edit any of this? Well, you're going to log in. Up at the top, you'll find a login button. You'll use the username and password that you use for your Outlook login. Once you're in, you'll see extra tools in the top left corner. It's here that you can make some changes. If you choose tools, you'll see that's where you create another web page they call a blog. I currently have some down here, and as you can see, if the title gets too long, you get an ellipse. You can also choose to use other tools that are associated with our Inside Seattle Colleges. If we go to the very top and choose Edit, you'll find that you can edit some of the information here. They're going to want you to put in your pin, which I'm blurring for this video. You could remove the picture that you have or add a picture that you don't have yet. You want to put some alternative text here for accessibility. You can put your preferred name. The things that are grayed out, you cannot change. You would have to contact the Seattle District's IT team through their support form and update that information. Again, that's at sd.seattlecolleges.edu. And then down here, you can update the office hours. Put your preferred phone number here, your office. I'm between college campuses. So I have a variety of offices and phone numbers. And then choose Save. That's also where you would update your faculty bio. This is that personal statement page that you saw on the front page. Let's go back to View. And under Courses, I want you to see some of the cool tools that they are adding. When I click on one of the courses that I'm teaching for Fall 2019, and I drop to the bottom, I can see Add Drop Students. When I go to the Add Drop Students, I can see all my students for that class, and I can make some adjustments for the reason to add or drop them. You'll notice it says, fill this form only when the student you want to add to the roster is not on the wait list. Let's go ahead and go back. My account. And there are many more things we would love to help you with, so please contact your Teaching and Learning Center associate. sites.southseattle.edu slash TLC. Contact a TLC associate. They each have their own people page, and they'll be happy to meet with you and help you with your people page. Again, the people pages are for Seattle College employees. And this is a great way to get your information out where you're in charge of it for your students to find. Another thing that you might want to consider is to go to InsideSeattleColleges.edu, go to the course that you're teaching, let's go to the class scheduling tools, choose 
Instructor Notes. Under Instructor Notes, you can now link to your people page for your students to find. I'm going to choose View Course Description, No Instructor Message. I can choose Edit, and now I could put an instructor link right here to my people page, and I can put a message here for my students. Both will now show up on the class schedule for the students to find. That's very powerful. So if I wanted to update this information, I would go back to my people page, copy it, go back to Inside Seattle Colleges. I'm going to just paste my link right here inside the instructor link. That will make this hot, meaning it's linked. And then I can put a message up, update. Now I'm going to go into the edit for here, do the same thing, and now all of my classes should have that information. Let's check to be sure. It's always a good idea. When I click, so I'm going to type web in here, looking at the online course where I'm teaching, a message from the instructor. Please click on my people page link below. They click there, a new window opens, and they can see my statement. Okay, if you have any questions or you would like help with your people page or updating the course so that it has a message from you and a link to your people page on inside.seattlecolleges.edu, please contact any of us in the Teaching and Learning Center. sites.southseattle.edu slash TLC, then click on Contact a TLC Associate. And this quarter we have four fabulous TLC Associates. And of course, Pamela and myself are more than happy to help you. Just reach out to us and schedule an appointment. You will also find a schedule that we're putting up for some hours that we're trying to make ourselves available in the TLC. Thanks for watching.